In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get wyvern eggs and wyvern milk so that you can raise your own wyvern tames and use them in Ark Survival Evolved. There's two ways you can do it. You can do it risky. You can try flying there and kite the wyverns away and then, you know, just try grab the eggs while they're chasing you. And, you know, it's very risky. You can die. People do it with the, do it with pteranodons all the time. It's not impossible. However, I think it's also nice to actually kind of build a, a fob. So you basically build a generator. You put some door frames, get it up here on a hatch frame. And then you put around some turrets here, maybe one or two heavies, just so that you can kill the wyverns as they fly past this location later. I'm gonna actually demonstrate this in a little bit here. Just make sure you put bullets in it, make sure it's powered, it's on, set its range to high and set its target to all targets or, or just like, you know, wild dinos. And now what we're gonna do is get the aggro of these wyverns over here so that we can get them away from the egg so that we can fly in safely so that once we do pick up the egg, they're not chasing us. Now, now we just lead them towards the turrets. The turrets take them out very quickly, nice and easy. And in PvE, this shouldn't be a problem at all. And now all you have to do is you go fly downwards and you go go find an egg in one of these like nest locations. You can see in these things over here is usually where you'll be finding the wyvern nests with the with the eggs inside them. You can see there's one down right at the bottom over here. Now when you pick up the egg, any wyvern in the location or near you is going to immediately come and start attacking you. So be careful about that. You should also know that the wyverns in the area, their level depicts the level of the eggs. Now wyvern babies need milk, so you need a harpoon launcher with net projectile ammunition, and you just net the wyvern. Now for 60 seconds, they'll be netted here on the ground, so make sure you immediately get off and you start pumping their face or pull, building a trap around them or something just to keep them enclosed in here if you can't knock them out within 60 seconds. Once they're unconscious, you can go into the female's inventory and take wyvern milk. Keep in mind that it's only the females that have the milk. Now, when you're hatching a wyvern egg, you need a ton of air conditioners and things to create heat. So you can either use torches like this or you can put all the air conditioners. It's really up to you. You're just going to need a ton of them just so that you can incubate the egg. It's also much like the rock drake eggs that we did on Aberration. All right, so once you see the inc incubation timer, you should know that your wyvern's gonna be born. Once it's born, put the milk in its inventory as well as some food for once it passes like the, the first stage. I believe it's 10% maturity. Uh, once it makes it there and it can start feeding from the trough, it will be fine, but it's going to need milk to, to eat and, and like survive. Otherwise, it's going to die if you're playing on like official settings. If your maturation settings are quite fast, you should be fine. Just make sure you check on their HP every so often. You can also use a snow owl to heal them. Okay, so there's four types of wyverns. The ice wyvern, the poison wyvern, which I think looks the coolest. I like the look of the poison wyvern. The lightning wyvern, which is the, the crowd favorite. And then the fire wyvern, which is also a really good one, right? So let me show you when you're on them and you right click, you can do an attack. Obviously the fire wyvern is gonna do a fire attack. Lightning wyvern is going to do a like laser beam, which is insane. It does like, like stun damage and stuff. And on players, it, it, it will destroy them. Poison is great for actually poisoning enemy players and just like you know draining their HP just by landing the hit it's just quite hard though and then the ice one it kind of does like a freeze effect here and this is what it looks like now wyverns also fly quite fast so they're great for that their stamina is something you're gonna need to level they don't take any saddles so you can ride them directly but it's very hard to maneuver them when you need to turn because they have an insane turning radius. You can see here, this is just ridiculous trying to turn. So most times in PvP, people are just gonna use a PT and just like, you know, yoink you off the back and you're done for it. But if you do get the, the, the first attack, it's gonna work nicely. I hope you guys found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching.